There are many reasons on why you would wish on a character in Genshin Impact. Whether the character's style seems cool or you like the gameplay kit, even their voice might be a major reason on why you would want to wish on their banner. Even I have been one of the people in which I summoned a certain character just because I thought they were way too cool to miss out on. And that character, to me, was Xiao. This isn't about why I wished on Xiao though, no. This is about why you will wish on Xiao on his next available banner in Genshin Impact 3.4. Xiao is many things, cool, strong, formidable against any of the new characters that have been released. Even when Xiao faces new competition, like the newly favored Wanderer, or as we know him as Scaramouche, he can still hold his own as one of the greatest or strongest Genshin Impact Hyper carries in the game. It just feels like you ingest some really strong caffeine and absolutely dumpster any cowering enemy in his path. Playing Xiao can feel like a roller coaster, both physically as well as emotionally, as he does make you feel powerful as he uses a mental burst to bully your surviving opponent. Moving as Xiao in the overworld just makes you feel like you can stomp on everything and everyone, as he just seems to fit the role as, you stand in my path, you will die in game. He's one of my favorite Genshin Impact characters in the game, not only because it was sort of nostalgic to think he was my first fully built character, which makes it a little biased for me to say he was worth it, but also makes me very knowledgeable on how fun Xiao can be. Hell, I made a video in the past and why you would summon on him based on the numbers he can output. And trust me, he can pull some crazy numbers on every build I can think of. Whether it's a two-piece or four-piece on artifacts, Xiao can shred every ounce of his opponent. Wishing on Xiao, I had only one thing in mind. I need to have him. Whilst looking at his character origin story, his teaser, his character demo, not only his recent 2.7 when he absolutely touched all our hearts with his willingness to sacrifice himself to save his friends. Very protagonist of Xiao to just come up with that decision. And in the most recent teaser, we have seen on Genshin Impact's channel, Xiao was dragged by Chi Chi to be saved. It shows that he has both sides to his coin. Xiao's development as a Genshin Impact character, from Demon to Redemption Arc to Lovable Loof, has really touched the hearts of many. Put it simply, and for everyone to understand in short, Xiao is awesome, and you should consider having him as a permanent member in your Genshin Impact roster. Yao carried me through the entirety of most of the game, even when I hadn't played much Genshin Impact as to seem to be a while that I haven't been on the game. As soon as I heard Xiao was coming to the game for the very first time, I knew I had to grind to get him, and grind I did. I did everything I can to obtain Xiao, and at the time, I didn't even think about reruns as we didn't have one yet. It was too early in Genshin Impact's lifespan to have reruns yet, following Genshin Impact's immediate success. But as soon as I got him, I knew my goal was to make him the main powerhouse in my team. And oh, did I enjoy every second of seeing my wandering Yaksha level up and improve over time. I didn't prepare to get him all the way up the levels through both books nor talent at the time, but I still wanted to make sure he was one of the characters that I used all my resources on and saw all the results. Xiao became strong and cleaned up everything for me. He was highly dependable and unknowingly to myself, even though he is a hyper carry, does need support to keep him afloat on the battlefield, as he does inflict self damage, but as he does that, he can become stronger and stronger.
And we've seen that, especially with all the new artifacts that have been releasing that Xiao does make a lot of use out of. And we, as we see, Genshin Impact themselves like releasing new artifacts for our beloved Yaksha. Now I know this. As soon as you use Xiao, you're going to ask yourself why you didn't wish for him sooner. Because of how engaged you can be whilst playing him. Now, I know that you could have doubts on if you want to wish on his upcoming banner or not, whether it's another character that you really want on your team besides him, or that you don't really have the proper supports, or even because his gameplay style just doesn't suit you. Well, let me tell you this one simple solution. Now can make use of all of your free units and still be one of the greatest on your team. Whether you want to use him as a character that you just like, or you want to use him as a character that's powerful, he is pretty fun. Heck, even without any support, he can do well. But you'll have to play some really good tension in order to keep him alive without a shield or healing. And whatever character that you think you might want over him, just test him out up on the upcoming trial to really see how super Yao can really be. And it makes a lot of sense why he's the last remaining Yaksha. He's super strong, he's awesome, he's cool, and he can destroy the entire Spiral Abyss. But with gameplay aside, Yao just speaks to all the people with his dependableness, absolutely cool persona. You can always count on Xiao to take care of business and look badass doing so. I don't regret wishing on Xiao, and I don't think I ever will. Hell, if I could, I'd see 6 Xiao in a heartbeat because of how much I enjoy Xiao as a Genshin Impact character. If I could, I'd make Xiao the main protagonist of the game. Anyways, that's just me. I know a lot of you guys might have mixed opinions or you just don't really like Xiao like that. But I know that I think you should consider getting Xiao. He's just awesome and he's awesome to have in the world of Tevat. Now, by the time of me recording this part, that means you guys have watched the end of the video, which is pretty awesome. As well as if you guys did watch the end of the video and you guys still want to watch more, there are some more videos to the style on my channel. So you guys should definitely watch that. As well as um, the Xiao banner and all the other banners have been shown. And if you guys see on your screen right now, we have all four banners shown. We have the Xiao banner. I'll hate them. Both Hu Tao as well as Yelan have also been shown because I'm pretty sure we are going to have because of the Chinese New Year. I'm pretty sure. I'm not really, you know, sure on that, but they will have a vacation or something like that. That means uh, Hoyo versus probably not going to be, you know, showing more content like that. We've also got two characters that I didn't go over either, which are Mika as well as Dia. And oh my, am I excited for Dia. He is probably the character I'm like the most excited about. I really hope Dia is not just some sort of pyro Eula. I really hope that's not the case. And we get to see some awesome pyro sort of elemental infusion with Dia or something like that. I hope it's not the style of Diluc either. I hope they do something cool with Armando Skull and Burst. But yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. And it's going to be near in the future, just, a, I don't know, a month or two from now. And we are going to see Dia in the game, which I am very excited for. I'm definitely going to be summoning on Dia. I do have a lot to summon on, so I definitely can't summon on a weapon banner, which is unfortunate. The next weapon banner is incredible, by the way. The one for Hu Tao as well as Yelan, and that's going to be an incredible weapon banner. You're going to have the Staff of Homa. You're going to have the Aqua Simulacra. Definitely a big banner there. But yeah, I mean, that's going to be pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Very hype stuff. Cool new characters coming in. And I'm definitely excited. Thank you for watching. Here are a few videos that I think you might like. You can watch me react to All Hate Them's most recent teaser. Or you can watch me talk about Genshin Impact's nostalgia and its current state of the game. Whether you have watched all the way to the end or not, I would appreciate it if you guys liked the video as well subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everyone watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye bye.